Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Encryptor. Welcome back to the third episode, or the fourth episode, excuse me, of Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments. In this episode, we find a new suspect besides John Nelligan. I'm not going to say anything more than that, so I don't spoil anything. So, I hope you all enjoy. Find a regional banking institution based in Cornwall has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio portfolio and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. The liquidation of company is a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht, preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted both by the police and his creditors. Here it is. Oh, that's all I had to do. Okay, that was easy. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. That's all I need to do. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go back to Scotland Yard. Back at the yard. Let's go find young Nell again. Let's go. Let's go. No, get in the door. Get in the door. Tell me, how do you relate to the murder, pal? I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. And how does that relate? Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Indeed. Best to get the ship's log. So, I'm assuming we have to go back here. All right, let's go find the ship's logs. Let's go. I'm assuming it's these. 1883. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Uh huh. So we're looking for. Let's see. Looking. Uh. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Okay, so what are we looking for then? Log notes for July. Nothing special. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Uh, Canadian uh. Pacific Railway. CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. I feel like the last one's going to be a lot easier, um, Sherlock. So, I mean, he's, he looks pretty out of it. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. The specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. There's such a thing? The young Wiggins and his gang. Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. As we've learned, the 
Your detectives aren't that bright. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. We'll summon them. How will you do that? We'll give them the call. There is always a watch beneath our. It's like scream out the. I have only out to the window. Him. Where? So where am I going? Did you say the window? Call Wiggins. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of fascinating sailors. Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Oh, uh, you're already on your way. All right. Toodles. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station. Dad, gone it. Can I get a little bit of a rest here? Thank you. I'll be there shortly. No, we'll be there immediately. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see. Glad to see you too. As always. What happened? We have a new suspect, mm -hmm. Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Mm -hmm. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Indeed. Let us hope so. Guns always do good. Oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. To who? The dead guy? Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, eh? Mm, breathtaking. No, not really. I will never admit to such a thing. Let's go in here. I'm assuming you have a heat. No, I don't want to. These are the stuff. That's not. No, I want. I want the other one. This one. Wait, you took off his boots. What? What are you. Why? These are the suspect's belongings. Interesting. Stained letter. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Right, that works. Pen. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. Nothing unusual about that. How about boots? Well, apparently, I take those two. William Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. All right. Are you guys like in the same interrogation room? There's. <laughs> Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say, and you're not even part of the police. Right, I'm smarter. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as you might think. At least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here. My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Information is always best well, when you already know it, right? We shall see. Okay, we're about to tell him his life story, I think. Anything on his face? Nothing on his face? Nothing on his face? Okay. Scar, it's definitely one. Plant remains. Anything there? Hands, definitely. He was the gardener. Aha! Uh -huh. He was the gardener. Why would they? Why would they try to hide that? I just feel like he just had to be the gardener. Definitely the gardener. Anything? 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 That's all for now. That's that's it. That's it. Investigate suspect. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. In the next episode, we learn a lot of interesting things about Liam Hurtley. Now, again, I'm not going to say anything, so I don't spoil anything, but it does get very good. So, I hope you all come back to watch the rest of it, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, this is Encryptor, heading out.